love going to get Zoe in the morning when she wakes up. Can you say hi? Good morning? No? Okay. Pick out what you're going to wear today. What do you want to wear? you got to pick out either a dress or a shirt. What would you like to wear today? Do you want to wear stripes? Or Ariel? Or Paw Patrol? What would you like to wear? Hmm. What do you want to wear? There's this pretty dress. I like this dress on you. No? How about we pick Paw Patrol? You want to wear Paw Patrol? Paw Patrol! Go! Patrol. Alright, now we got some shorts. And you want to pick out your socks? Pick out your socks. Which ones are you going to wear? Do you want to wear blue? Or pink? Or pink and purple? Which ones are you going to pick? How about these ones? Show everyone your outfit of the day. Paw Patrol shirt, cute shorts, some socks, adorbs. What's your outfit of the day, Skylar? What are you wearing? Some pink pants. Beautiful. On my way to the chiropractor. I called and she said, we can get you in in 20 minutes. And I said, pencil me in. My hips always get twisted and out of whack. I can feel something up in the middle of my back that feels out of place. For the longest time, I was scared to go to the chiropractor. Now I feel amazing. Usually he does most of the work down by my hips and my tailbone. Today he went all the way up into my shoulders and I could actually feel it cracking. It felt so nice. I crack my fingers every day. There's a bit of pain in them. I know they're going to crack soon. Yeah. So I asked him if he did full body adjustments and he said yeah. I might need to go in for one of those at some point in time. Because that would be awesome. Can you give me an after shower hug? Can I have a hug? Oh. Usually you give me hugs. No hugs tonight? Sassy pants, McGee. Usually after every shower, she gives me a hug. And I snuggle her and I make sure she's warm. <coughs> Not tonight, apparently. 
Here she is, Miss Princess Skylar. <laughs> <laughs> she got her first pair of high heels. She bought them with some of her birthday money. They are beautiful. Strike a pose. Do a pose. Like a poppy pose. Skylar pose. Oh. Beautiful. It's my first time being a princess. What? You've been a princess your whole life. High heels. What about your necklace? It's all beautiful. When your two year old is crying because she wants cookies, you go out and you buy cookies. I mentioned in a previous vlog that we had a big family vacation planned that had to get canceled because my husband lost his job, unfortunately. And I was so bummed because I was so excited to go. The kids were excited to go to the beach. They've never been to the beach before. Yeah, so it was just a big bummer all around. But during this time of my husband being unemployed, God has been so good to us. He never fails us, ever. And even if things don't go the way that I think they're going to go, I know that God is still good and that good will still come out of these situations that we face. Um, but God has been so good to us this time around that we actually do get to go on our family vacation. So I'm so excited. It's not going to be the original dates that we planned on going. It's going to be a week later. We haven't told the kids yet. They're going to be so pumped. Maybe not pumped for the car ride. It's like a 15 hour car ride. So nothing like going on your first ever family vacation being in the car for 15 hours. <laughs> this might blow up in our faces, but I'm willing to try. Me and Mark disagree on something. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> I eat Oreos a different way than he eats Oreos. Yes, I eat the entire cookie. She just opens and licks the center and then puts them back in the bag. I don't lick the center. I eat the center. And then I put the cookie back in the container. In case someone else wants it. <laughs> you never know. They might. It's only that one time, you know. It was just disappointing to open it up thinking I have a whole row of Oreos and only to find this <laughs> cookie just in there without any frostings. Pre-licked. You love that. I love you. It's like that, huh? All right, I recently ordered some shirts and shorts off of Target.com. It has been an incredibly long time since I've stepped foot inside of Target. Um, the nearest one to us, I believe, is in a little over an hour away. There might be one that's a little closer, but I don't think so. So I never get to shop at Target. But I was watching um, Jessica Braun here on YouTube. I feel like I'm always talking about her, but she's awesome and I love her. She ordered some t-shirts off of Target.com and she said they were the most comfortable t-shirts she's ever worn. Um, I'm obviously a t-shirt girl. Love t-shirts, wear them all the time. Went on Target.com to buy some. Of course they were all out of stock, but they had some other t-shirts that looked comfortable and that um, they looked like I would like them so I ordered those and then I ordered a couple pairs of shorts growing up I never wore shorts I always wore pants that's just what I did I didn't like my 
bright white legs out blinding everybody every summer. So, but now that I'm older and I mean, I can't say I don't care what people think about me because we all do at some point in time, but I'm more so to the point where I'm like, okay, if I'm going to blind you, I'm going to blind you. So I have not opened any of this stuff yet. I'm very excited to open it. So let's open this first one up. Hopefully I don't cut anything. Knowing my luck, that would happen. Okay. Ooh, it's one of my t-shirts. Got three of the same t-shirt, just three different colors. This is the rust colored t-shirt. Looks very comfortable. And I know that this is the other two shirts I ordered. I'm so excited. I rarely ever buy myself new clothes. Figured it was about time. Where's this one? This one is burgundy. They're very thin. They feel very breathable. And they kind of have a little... Um, I can't think of the word. Not him. But the sleeves kind of like fold up, fold over. And this color is light purple. And then here are the shorts that I wear. Give me my shorts. I hope these fit me. It's the other thing I don't like about ordering clothes online. I measured myself to what their size chart said, but who knows if it's actually gonna be the right size. Like these look a little big. <laughs> but I'm also not as small as I used to be, so. Right, I'm gonna try this stuff on. <laughs> All right, here's the one of the outfits I put on the burgundy shirt and my shorts. I love that the shorts come just above the knee. I don't like anything too short. And they actually fit, which is sad because when I pulled them out, they looked huge. But they fit very nicely. And the shirt fits very nicely. Love it. Super excited. Skylar, where are we? We're at the doctor. Did you get your kindergarten physical? Yeah. Now you've gotten all of your stuff done. Your teeth, your eyes, your body. Now you're all ready for kindergarten. What do you think about that? I know what you're going to find out soon. What about you, Zoe? Why are you throwing all the stuff off? It's technically Saturday because it's past midnight, but I'm going to pretend that it's still Friday. This week's vlog hasn't really been that great. Um, I have most of it edited. just have to add in um, some last little bits. This week, the kids just weren't very cooperative and I've been struggling lately. I'm pretty open about my journey with anxiety and depression at times. About a month ago, uh, probably two months ago, I started a new medication. At first it was rough, but I was like, I just gotta power through, gotta make it through this, this stage, because switching medicine is hard. There's always new, new things that pop up with a new medication. Um, this one, I was just having a really hard time sleeping. Once I got over that hump, I was like, okay, now we're going to get, you know, into the good stuff about medication. It's going to start helping and this and that. And it just hasn't. Um, my mood swings have been crazy. My anxiety has been up. 
So I go to the doctor on Monday and I'm going to get that sorted out. I don't know if he will just put me on a new medication or if he will up the current medication that I'm on. Something just needs to be done because I do not like how I've been feeling lately. It's been really rough. But yeah, I just wanted to hop on and just say this week's vlog really wasn't anything to write home about. I hope if you made it this far that you at least somewhat enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really, really helps my channel out a lot when you subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell, that way you will be notified of when I post new uploads. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.